Welcome to Google Earth, one of my most favorite tools to use in teaching and learning. Now, quick little tour. If you haven't been here before, I'm gonna go straight to New York using the search bar here. And I'll show you a couple of simple getting started tools if you haven't used it before. At the moment, we're in 2D mode. Google Earth is best and is amazing when you hit down here on 3D and suddenly everything becomes 3D. I'm gonna zoom using the plus button right into Manhattan there. And it's still on 3D mode. Now if I wanna move my view, I can click and drag my screen like this, click and drag around. Now if I wanna tilt my view, hold down the shift key and then click and drag. So looking what I'm doing now, I'm now three dimensionally tilting and dragging. So that's holding shift down while dragging if I let go of shift, I'm able to drag in two dimensions across and I'm gonna go right on top now of New York. Now they're the basic features, but what I wanna really show you is what's called projects, which are super. Over here, they're only a new feature and I'm gonna make a new one here. Let's go create a project in Google Drive. And I'm gonna do a tour of New York. This could be used for students as we're in lockdown at the moment for so many different purposes. An amazing way to get out and about and see the world in 3D. So we're gonna do uh, New York here because no one can go there at the moment. We're gonna check it out ourselves. The project title. Now, at the moment, it's got no features and features are what make up a Google Earth project is like a slideshow that's immersive and has features from maps rather than just static images. So I'm gonna go and add a feature. You can add a slide. So I'm gonna start with just a full screen slide. And this is almost the front cover of my project. And we'll call it very simply New York. I'm gonna set myself a background picture for the opening slide. You can go straight to Google image search. Okay, so there we go, we've got uh, a front cover saved. So let's preview our presentation. As you can see at the moment, all we have is an image and down the bottom we've only got one slide. Let's go back and start adding some really interesting features to it now. Back, new feature, we're gonna search the other place. Let's go to the Empire State. Now once we've got that there and we've found it, we're able to add it to the project from over here. It'll ask you which project and the name of it. Now, before you hit save, go into edit and I'll tell you why. Because within edit, you actually get to decide which view. So by default, it's gonna give you a view right on top. So I'm gonna use my holding down shift and I'm gonna pan around and even use my zoom just to get an exact view of the Empire State Building that I'd like to have as my object in my project here. So. Maybe that one there, you can play around with what three dimensional view. When you've got a view that you like, you hit down here, capture. So that's now inserted the Empire State Building into my project with that particular view that I've chosen. And it's three dimensional, so when people get to it, they'll be able to pan around and see it. Now you'll notice that the little information card that they put there is by default that they've put by Google, but I always like to go and replace that and customize it with my own. So here we can say Empire State Building, it's called an info box. So I'm gonna show the info box small, and this is what the info box is, is a title. There's my interesting fact, and I can put an image. This image you'll see is just gonna sit on the info card, and I'll show you what that looks like and you decide the size of the info box. What I'll do is show you what that info box looks like. So during our project, the info box pops up on the side here. This is where students might customize it with their own information or even put a link in there to their own research or their project, a slideshow, a doc, anything else. And this is the view I've chosen here. Okay, I'm gonna go back and back a step. So now we've got the front page and we've got a feature. Okay, the feature I'm gonna add now is, we're still at the Empire State Building, but I wanna add what's called a street view. And the way we do that is grab the little, he's called Pegman, and if we can drop him anywhere where it's blue, it could be on the street, but it's also anywhere where there is 
and you can see at the top here the, the building there's actually little blue dots which means somebody has curated and sent an image out from that point so I'm going to click there and we're now inside and you can see here somebody's taken a selfie but what it does, has done is give you a view on top of the Empire State Building. So you can select in the bottom left corner the view you're happy with. I'm going to capture this view. And we're going to edit the place just to make sure if there's anything on the info box we want to put. I always like to put a small info box and you can have the title as well as I'm sure you could think up something more meaningful than that, but you're also able to put links to further things and this is where students can link to other projects that they're doing. And an image or not, you don't have to put. I'm gonna now go and preview that presentation. So this is what that slide three is now gonna look like. I can toggle through. So there's my second one. And there's the front page. So that's a quick tour of projects. You can see that you're able to put both three-dimensional views, street views, have a play with that. There is so much more that you can do with it. The possibilities are endless. So importantly, we wanna be able to share them and even collaborate if you'd like up in the share project. If you'd like to have this project sent out to a class or have other people within the school community view them, we need to go down to advanced and change it from private to make sure it's anyone with the link can view. And that way, once you hit save, this link here is able to be dropped onto classroom. It can be sent out to anyone else who doesn't need to have an account and is able to check out the project. So that's the way that you're able to share it. And you can add collaborators as well as you would with a normal doc.